How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another Goddess of Genesis video. Okay, so for today, I will be showing you uh, five tips on how to maximize your team play strategies. And when I, of course, when I say five, I actually mean six. There is always a bonus tip at the end. Okay, so just stay on to the end and uh, hopefully it's, it's helpful. Okay, so number one, uh, this might seem really, really obvious, okay? But elemental combinations are extremely crucial, especially for the higher difficulties of the PvE content you face, okay? So uh, if you observe your runs, like for example, uh, you're doing something like 40, okay, stage 40 or maybe stage 45, you will notice that on floors way above your hero's levels, the enemies get ridiculously harder to land a critical hit on, okay? So if you use Lucifer, you will realize that you know, sometimes the Lucifer is just like a pain in the ass and you just want to kick Lucifer out of your team. Okay, so that is just simply the way the game is designed. Uh, while I'm not sure how the level gap affects your crit rate, one thing is for sure is that the wider the level gap becomes, the harder it is to land a crit. Okay, so for example, uh, my level 37, 82% crit rate Lucifer probably only lands a crit half the time against level 45 enemies. So uh, therefore, it could be really essential to complete your elemental combinations to get that little bit of extra crit rate, all right? All right, from like uh, the fire elemental combination. Um, but apart from that, uh, the earth and light types are also quite important to keep your tanks alive, okay? So light type actually reduces the damage that uh, your team takes, which, which is really helpful, especially on stages with uh, lots of AoEs. And you know the earth type also increases your block rate which is excellent for dealing with uh, AOEs as well or even uh, making sure that your tank doesn't even take a single bit of damage at all. Okay, so uh, your tank can really survive very well with uh, the earth boost. Okay, uh, the added stat is important to overcoming a flaw that you basically just cannot beat yet. Okay, so it, it is really important. You will see a tremendous difference with the added uh, elemental bonus. Okay, number two, this only really applies to Astro Shaw, okay? But uh, you're going to be spending most of the time here anyway. So it should be mentioned that whenever you first beat uh, an Astro Floor Shaw for the first time, for the first time, right? Uh, you will get a clearance mark or rather it's called a Goddess Blessing. Okay, so the buff bonuses are always the same. It's 30% damage increase and your heroes take 20% less damage. Okay, so they only differ via the elements associated with the buff and different days give you a uh, different uh, elemental buff. Okay, so in fact, uh, what the, uh, all you need to do to unlock the blessing for a specific difficulty is to just clear it once for any element. Okay, you don't need to clear with a whole team alive. There are no requirements. Just beat it once. So try your best, beat it once, and uh, do it solo, of course. And then you will get a buff. Okay. And the thing is, you will get the blessing for every element up to the highest floor completed. So if you manage to do forty-five on, uh, let's say, fires the fire floor for like today, what I'm showing you. Uh, you you actually automatically unlock the blessing up to level 45 for water, light, uh, whatever. Okay, so if you cannot beat a certain floor on your own just yet, you can always rely on clearing another Astro Shaw element that favors your team's type focus. That's not all. In addition to getting added damage and damage reductions, you also have the mark shown beside your character's icon in the lobby as well. So people know that you have cleared this difficulty on your own and you are therefore slightly more reliable than maybe the average dude without. So in contrast, this can also be a strong indicator for you if you want to do a team battle, okay? So uh, you, you might want to reconsider taking up allies who are just not yet ready for the fight, okay? So uh, that indicator itself will show you that uh, your ally is not ready for, I mean, well, he is ready or not, yeah. The indicator could be something meaningful to, to rely on. And this brings me to the next part. You can check your allies for their best five heroes, okay? So this is very telling, especially if you know your lineup lacks a specific role, such as a healer like Athena or Isabel or Venus. Maybe you lack a good tank or even a, an off tank, like a, maybe a Poseidon or a Dracula. Uh, they will come in especially handy, okay? So you'll more or less be able to gauge your allies' flexibility and capability simply by assessing their spread of heroes. And in contrast, you can then show off your select 5 heroes by clicking on your profile, then clicking on the orange button card, then select the box at the bottom of the screen and you can manually place the heroes you want, others to know that you possess. So this can be an incredibly effective way to indicate your potential. Okay, moving on, what I'm about to share with you now is then a highly effective method to minimize energy losses. Okay, so if you were unaware, 
You do not lose energy for losing in solo fights, neither will you consume your supreme rewards daily count. However, losing in a team mode will actually result in losing half the energy entry costs uh, deducted from your precious energy stash. And you know what, since energy replenishes once every 5 minutes, you are sometimes set up to 40 minutes back just because one person in the team was <laughs> incapable of carrying himself for the rest of the group. Okay, so a method I found to be highly effective. It's it's a great get around against uh, you know such unfortunate pub matchups. Is to first set the support function to active. Okay, so this allows you to enter the match for free even if your energy is way below the entry cost. Okay, so this doesn't. Is, this means that it doesn't matter if you lose the fight. You don't lose anything at all. Okay, so well besides wasted time and a bruised ego, of course. Uh, so this strategy I employ. Uh, if I'm going in with pups and I'm not going in with friends and I just cannot determine if they are strong or not. Okay, so if previous points did not work well for me. You know, sometimes players without the goddess blessing can still pull their own weight, but uh, sometimes, you know, even players with the blessing just fail to perform well at all. So, like, I mean, just promise me you won't use this function to ruin other players' gameplay, alright? Don't be that guy. Okay, and finally, this uh, goes out to maybe the newer players or players who are not confident in your own capabilities. Okay, so sometimes you are unsure if you will be strong enough to survive a certain difficulty. Maybe you do it solo and you are just almost doing it right, but all you needed is just a little bit stronger, uh, a, a, most, a stronger set of heroes. Okay, and, and who else can you turn to other than pups, right? So the thing is, uh, if you think that, you know what, maybe you, you want to rely on pups, uh, all hope is not lost, okay? Maybe you just decided to take on a new milestone, but you want to pin your hopes on your allies instead. Uh, what you can do is to host a lobby and then select the position button. Only the host has this functionality, by the way. And you can then drag any player around, okay? So this means that you can drag yourself into the P3 spot, you can drag yourself into the P2 spot, uh, everything is up to you, okay? so. So that, you know what, you only need to bring in one single hero into the fight. So this will be highly advantageous to you because uh, you give stronger players the opportunity to run doubles instead. So they can bring in two heroes and you just need to bring in one. Okay, um, so they can definitely carry you throughout. But you know what, just make sure that your hero actually does work and it's not like a, a waste of space. Because sometimes that, that fifth spot is actually quite uh, meaningful and important. Okay, and now we come to our bonus tip. Okay, so this is something that I personally feel like, uh, based on my experience, okay, based on my experience so far, I feel like this is like uh, maybe the most ideal way to choose your supporters. Okay, so the thing is, from my experience, uh, DPS heroes don't work. Okay, damage, he damage dealers, they don't really fit that role that well. Okay, so if let's say you just need to fill out the element instead, you know what, opt for a healer instead. Okay, so healers or debuffers, they are generally the better choices for support positions. And I'm not even talking about the roles here. Okay, um, Damage dealers seem to do remarkably nothing when used as a support, but healers are great choices because for some reason their healing power just seems to work so good. Okay, So if you take a look at my, uh, my healer right here, she heals up to 19,000 HP and she goes as high as uh, 25,000 sometimes, 27,000 sometimes when she crits. Okay. So apart from healers, you may choose to bring in like specific essential debuffers like Medusa for the Petrify or the AoE Poison <clears throat> for the Lucifer in your team. So it is just DPS heroes that don't quite fit the spot that well. Their multipliers are just not that good on the support role. Okay, and that's it for this video. Uh, so that was 5 plus 1 extra tip for you guys on how to maximize your <coughs> team fighting strategies uh, and how to actually be a competent teammate and as well as to make sure that you pick the right team okay so it's really important all these tips uh do learn to use them well you may not be able to get right into it at the start that's fine just try to figure out how to um try to ad adapt okay and then like know when to use the support function uh know when to save your precious resources okay? because energy comes by really really infrequently and the only reason why you do team battles is to save energy in the first place so with that said thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something from this video if it was uh leave a comment down below let me know and like and subscribe if you have not already done so and as always i'll see you in the next video